We're talking about rational functions, and I have one here. Now, usually when we're analyzing the graph of a rational function, we like to have the numerator and denominator factored. So let me do that, this just to figure out what's going on with this rational function. Um, I would factor the numerator starting with an x in each of these factors. And I want to look for, let's say, factors of 48 that are going to give me 14. So 6 and 8. And if I use minus 6 and minus 8, I'll get this exactly. I'll get minus 6 times minus 8 is 48. And minus 6x minus 8x is negative 14x. And the denominator, I can just pull a negative 2 out. And that gives me negative 6 plus x, x minus 6. So this is interesting. I've got the same factor in the numerator and denominator. And I want to I know, is it OK just to cancel? Right? Is this just the same as negative 1 half x minus 8? So let me write a uh, uh, question mark there. Let's analyze the behavior of this function and the function before the canceling, just to see what the differences, is, the differences are and the similarities are. I'll evaluate some, uh, some points. Let's try 2. When I plug in 2, I get 2 minus 8, negative 6, 2 minus 6, negative 4, negative 2, and then x minus 6 is, again, negative 4. This cancels, and I get 3. If I plug 2 into this guy, 2 minus 8 is negative 6 times negative 1 half, also 3. What about 4? I plug in 4, I get 4 minus 8, negative 4. 4 minus 6, negative 2, negative 2. And then again, the x minus 6 is negative 2. These cancel, and I get 2. If I plug 4 in over here, 4 minus 8 is negative 4 times negative 1 half, also 2. If I plug in 6, this is going to be undefined. If I plug 6 in here, I get 6 minus 8, negative 2 times negative 1 half, 1. This is the key difference between the two functions, because it seems like they have the same values everywhere else. But at x equals 6, this one's undefined, and that one's not. So the way to make these two equal to one another is, say, negative 1 half times the quantity x minus 8 for x not equal to 6. Saying this, giving this domain restriction, means that this function will now have the same domain as this function. And now they're equal. Now you can write an equal sign here. The way to interpret this function is that its graph is going to be a line. right? You know that the graph of this is going to be a line. But there'll be a hole at x equals 6. That's what happens here. And that's going to be really important when graphing rational functions that have these common factors between the numerator and denominator.